Hi, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. Today I'm going to show you how to create a, a basic sphere in Photoshop and give it a shadow. Okay, so let's start by creating a, a new layer. Um, and then what you want to do, you want to go over to your elliptical marquee tool and just click and drag it down however big you want it, um, whatever shape you want it really. Okay, so I've got it there and I want to go up to my gradient tool. It's just over here where you can select G to select it. And if you have paint bucket, do shift G and it will change through them. Okay, so I've got my gradient tool selected. You can see I've got black to white. Um, I want to change it to the radial gradient, which is just over here. And then you want to just make sure that it's black to white, uh, foreground to background. Um, you don't want it to go clear like that. Okay, I'm going to change the colors of this. Um, I'm going to make mine a blue color. So I just want a darker blue for the background, uh, the first color, just on the left here. And I want to make it a lighter blue over there, just so we can see the, the change in it. Um, uh, that's probably a little bit too similar, so let's make it a bit lighter, just like that, there we go. So I'm going to have um, the location um, to 75% because you don't want it too big, or else it won't create the effect you're after. Uh, smoothness 100% and the gradient type is solid. Okay, once you've got that, click OK. And now what you want to do, you can see here you've got your, your colors that you selected. You want to hold down on the right bottom right corner, uh, corner area, and just click and drag up horizontally um, and let go. There we go. So you can see it, uh, the sun or the light is basically coming the top left over here, shining onto the, the sphere itself. I'm going to hit Control and D to deselect it. And now hold down control and click new layer. It creates a, a layer below your current layer. You want your foreground to be black and your background white. And you want to go up to the elliptical marquee tool again. And then we just want to create the shadow. Um, I'm just going to do it like that. Uh, so the foreground is black. So I'm going to hold down alt and delete. And that fills it with the foreground color, just like that. Okay, I'm going to hit Control and D to deselect that. Actually, it needs to move around a bit because you can see it just popping out over there. So I'm going to do Control T just to rotate it a touch. And there we go. And I'm going to move it just a little bit further along. There we go. And I'm going to hit Enter. And now what we want to do, we want to give it a bit of a blur. So you want to go up to Filter blur and Gaussian blur and it's up to you how much blur you want to give it um, I'm gonna give it about nine pixels that looks good like that and hit OK right so it's that simple um, we've created our sphere which looks kind of 3d ish without going to 3d properties we've given it a shadow actually what I'm gonna do is reduce the opacity of the shadow just a little bit just to make it a, look a bit more realistic there we go. So I've taken it down to, call it 80%. Um, you can do it as much as you want. I'm just going to go to the Move tool again. Move it down just a touch. There we go. Okay, that looks a lot better like that. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe for more to come. Thank you.